yours. Four hours in a rented gym that still smells like socks and childhood trauma, and where did it get us? Other than bored? The band wasn't even looking for anything specific. We just wanted change. We wanted to see who was out there, if they'd show up. Well, they showed up all right. You know, I had a dream where this exact thing happened. Except we were on stage. And naked. We were auditioning? Not all of us. Okay, it was just me. I was naked. I think this one better. In your dream, was the stage on fire? Because otherwise, I find that hard to believe. Whoa, can we do that for our next gig? We are not setting the stage on fire, Brian. Please stop asking. Okay, let's just wrap this up. Kaz, do you need a ride? Just to Brian's. I'm, uh, crashing on his couch until I get a new place. What? You said it'd be two days. You know you like having me around. Whatever. Have you heard yourself snore? Hey, Grace, you okay? I know you've been kind of loose hens since you left college. I was just hoping tonight would cheer you up. <laughs> You're always looking out for me, Freddy. <sighs> well, that's the deal, right? Best friends to the end. <clears throat> right. I just... wish it wasn't always so one-sided. Hey, <laughs> hey, don't... Don't worry about that, really, Grace. You'll get through this. Music is your life, Freddy. You're the drummer, the lyricist. A all of this was your idea. I just... I wish I knew where I fit. I think you fit. You know that, right? Yeah. You coming? I'm gonna hang out a bit and lock up. I'll see you at home. Like a boat lost at sea with no sails, not a breeze. I am drifting cold waters, no star to be seen. Is the world too much or is it just me? Everything I set upon unravels at my feet Everything I've learned wasted on a girl who doesn't know how to be free Like a boat lost at sea with no sails breeze I am drifting cold waters no star to be seen oh uh <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I didn't mean to interrupt I just I heard you from outside my name's Calliope you you have an amazing voice. I hope you know that. Uh, thanks. I'm, I'm Grace. Are you here for the audition, or...? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. Did you, uh, bring an instrument? Some music? I kind of bring my music wherever I go. <laughs> oh, 
All right, well... With the fire furious, I have burned my tongue Grief from all the promises, too many dreams unsung All the steps I didn't take, and paths proved untrue Is there any path through? Like a boat lost at sea Though I'm about to With end. no sense, not a You dream. still have your life ahead I am drifting cold waters No star to be seen All things that lose their way Can find it again There is no inertia in the ocean Your song was just so wonderful. I had to finish it with you. I hope that's all right. I also know what it feels like to be lost. To feel as if you have no place to turn. That's why I had to come inside. Well, I know why I feel that way, but what's your story? I'm reaping what I've sown, I think. <laughs> this has been a, a very long time coming. Ouch. Sounds harsh. May I ask you why you feel so adrift? You're so young. Surely your life is just beginning. It would sound stupid. <laughs> Try me. Well, I left school because I didn't feel like I belonged there, but I still haven't found my place. What am I supposed to do? Where am I supposed to go? Shouldn't I have figured this out by now? Those are good questions to ask. I should go. Uh, about the audition. I'm sure everyone will agree you're in, if, if you want to be, that is. I hope to see you again, Grace. <laughs> Perhaps soon. Right. See you then. Did you lose your keys, Fred? I thought you'd be... What the... Calliope? I didn't know where else to... I'm so sorry, Grace. What happened? Who did this? It... It doesn't matter now. 
I didn't want to do this to you. I... Not like this. I'm so, so sorry. What do you mean? Hey! Calliope! Please. Please, come on. Oh, um, I can wait. Take your time. I... Who are... Is that my door? Technically, it's my door. Or our door, maybe? I, um, I came as soon as I could. Uh, hold on. Who are you? How did you get here? Through the door? I mean, jeez, how did you get here? <sighs> she really is dead, huh? Man. So, the course is gonna want to talk to you. Sucks, but, you know. You are gonna tell me what's going on right now! Whoa. Who are you? How did you get here? What is happening? All right, all right, jeez. Let me go. Look, I can see you don't know squat about this, so I'm gonna explain real quick, but then you gotta come with me, okay? When Cal died, you saw a shiny thing come out of her, right? That was her soul. That's what made her a god. A what? It's in you now, which makes you a god. Surprise, right? You with me so far? Cool. Let's go. Sorry to drop you and run, but when an idol dies, there's like a hundred different things I gotta do. No, 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 wait. Where did you bring me? How did we get here? The chorus can explain. Don't touch anything. Okay? Wait! Come back! <sighs> okay. Yeah. I'll just wait here and, uh, not touch anything. Our beloved sister, the last of the Muses, has passed on to you. Our new sister, delivered to us by dear sweet Hermes. It's, uh, Grace, yes? Um, yes. Oh, my, my. You have had quite the day, haven't you? Someone died in my arms. Where is this? How did I get here? Who are you people? Oh, so many questions. This is my office, 
and I expect you arrived through one of Hermes's portals. The shiny doorway. <laughs> As for who we are, well, that does require some explanation, I agree. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Athena, goddess of wisdom. This is Apollo, god of prophecy, dressed for the occasion, as always. The wondrous Aphrodite, goddess of love. And the one glaring at you is Persephone, once queen of the underworld. Together, we are the Chorus. We rule over the idols, our name for the gods who remain. All of us, hidden in your modern world. But gods aren't real. They can't be, they're just... Stories, myths, legends. If you're real, you'd be all-powerful. You wouldn't be hiding or... Mm. Don't pay much attention to those old tales about us, Grace. They weren't very true to begin with, and, well, truth be told, we've diminished since those days. That doesn't mean we're helpless, of course. Far from it. Yet, at the end of the day, we two are just people trying to get by. <laughs> you expect me to believe that God's Sorry, idols have been living among us for what, thousands of years? You're thousands of years old. Oh no, no, I'm not trying to make you believe anything, not at all. If you'd like to believe this office is right outside your front door, or that we are, I don't know, actors, religious fanatics, by all means. The only thing I do need you to grasp is that you are here. This is real. And like it or not, it is happening. Right, and you live here, not in some city in Europe or a... On top of a mountain? <laughs> oh, I know, I know. Once we roamed marble halls, and now, fashionably appointed apartments. We have Wi-Fi. <laughs> we move with the times, Grace. We have to if we're going to remain hidden and survive. The mortals grow more and more clever with each passing century. Television! <laughs> I do what I must. Wait, you said, and Hermes said, that I'm a god now too. And an idol. That is true. That, that thing that came out of her that went into me. We call it an Eidolon, the part of Calliope's soul which made her an idol, which now makes you one. Athena, we are wasting time. The reason you're here, Grace, the reason why we made you wait so long while we debated, is because we have rules. Those rules mean we can't admit into our ranks a usurper, <laughs> never mind a possible murderer. I know this will all come as a shock, and I'm... So, so sorry to say it, but I'm afraid you have to die. Die? You don't have that right! What, you think I'm just gonna stand here and- Grace, Grace, please stop. No, no, I'm not gonna stop. Who do you think you are threatening me like that? Calliope's blood is literally on your hands. Isn't... Oh, she looks so helpless. Maybe we, we should... We should do as we agreed. Calliope's line would end, yes, but what other option do we have? Let a usurper remain an idol? Justice has to be done, for Calliope's sake. But... This isn't justice! If you are lost, little girl, this bears explanation. Dear child, please listen.
have usurped a muse No recourse to be arranged But it's unfair, I know But our laws cannot be changed But she came to me Realize there are simple rules If one of us dies These rules have been the tools that she You must know us. I didn't do it Is it weird this isn't song? Now That the muse is gone Now that she's gone I'm afraid You'll have to see You'll have to see The chorus is in accord Justice won't be ignored I disagree Did I hear that correctly? You've been quiet this entire time, Apollo. Why speak up now? I grieve Calliope's loss just as much as the rest of you, but I... I can't let you do this. He's right. What if Grace speaks the truth? What if Calliope chose her? <sighs> and what if Calliope was murdered by her? What if Grace stole her Eidolon? Then we need to find out. Don't you want justice? Oh, Apollo, I thought we'd agreed this was justice. What would you have us do? There has to be some way to find the truth. Aren't you gods? Couldn't a god... I don't know... We aren't seriously considering this. Oh, very well. This one time. I put a motion before the chorus. Do we allow Grace the right to prove her innocence? Yes. I think so. Yes. <sighs> Fine. And there we have it. Wait, wait I I'm gonna get some help with this, right? Some direction? You say Calliope chose you. I would like to believe that. I truly would. You have one week to find out what happened, Grace. What happens after a week? There will be a trial, if you cannot provide proof of your innocence by then. Oh, our original verdict stands. Can someone explain to me just how I'm supposed to find the truth? I'm not a detective. I don't know anything about the idols. Well, that's for you to figure out. I knew you were going to say that. How did I know you were going to say that? We're not going to keep you, Grace. You have much to do. Before you go, however, a few rules. Do not reveal our existence to the mortal world. This includes mortal authorities that cannot help you. Do not harm another idol. Do not leave the city. Do as the chorus commands. Otherwise, do whatever you must to find the true killer. If they exist. Oh, that's all? Welcome, dear sister. And do help yourself to a cookie. Grace. Grace. Uh, hi. 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 You're kidding, right? When I came home, the door was wide open. You weren't answering your phone. Kaz and Brian are still out looking for... Grace. We thought something happened to you. Wait, did something happen to you? Uh, 
um, yeah, kidnapped by aliens. Well, if you don't want to tell me, you don't have to. Big, scary aliens. <laughs> you were gone all night. Why didn't you answer your phone? I was calling and calling. This wasn't some hookup, was it? Because, you know, you can say it's none of your business, Freddy. It was definitely not a hookup. I'm allowed to say that much, I think. Allowed to say? Like you're a secret spy? Have you been a secret spy this whole time? Because if you have, that's pretty cool. Hi there. Uh... Ah, uh, who is this, Grace? Why does he have horns? Honestly, your guess is as good as mine. To answer your question, my dear, you see the horns because I allow you to see the horns. It's crazy, right? As for who I am, I've been known most often as Pan. So you call me that, if you must call me anything. Pan, of the Greek gods, Pan, right? But he's some kind of cosplayer? <laughs> the days of idols being called gods are well behind us, I'm afraid, but I assure you, I am the real article. I've come to offer our newest idol a helping hand. Or perhaps two. You do look lost, don't you? So we can just talk about this, in front of Freddy. Haven't you? Darling. And here I drop my glamour and everything. It's just, I was told we're not supposed to. Talk about it, that is. Talk about what? Grace, tell me! The prohibition is against revealing the idols to the mortal world. She's not the mortal world, is she? She can be trusted, can't she? Why do I have the feeling that I'm going to regret not leaving with Brian and Kaz? Oh, I can guarantee it. Uh, okay, Freddy. Have a seat. Let's talk. Huh. That's it? Huh? I guess. Do you believe in this, Grace? Sure, but I had proof. I traveled through a magical door. Which sounds extra cool. <laughs> I was a little distracted. Well, I have a million questions, but I can ask them later. The important thing is that I am here to support my best friend. What did I ever do to deserve a friend like you? You sat next to me at lunch period, dummy. Oh yeah, right. My friendship comes with all sorts of benefits, up to and including the tracking down of supernatural killers. Such darling camaraderie. It brings a tear to my eye. It truly does. Speaking of killers... Whoa, whoa, whoa. You wound me, dear lady. I've come to offer advice to our newest idol, a foundling who is set adrift most cruelly. So you're here purely for my sake, then? Like a charity case? My dear sweet girl, as far as you're concerned, I am the god of charity cases. Mm -hmm. But you're not, are you? Pan was the god of lust and mischief. Doesn't sound too charitable to me. Ah, yes. The old tales of the gods. Such antics, such fantasy. Pay them no mind. I still don't trust you. Nobody does anything for free. <laughs> now, 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 now. Who said I was doing anything for free? Ah, uh, here we go. I have not, however, asked for anything. As of yet. Seems rather convenient, you showing up with advice. How did you even know I existed? A little bird told me. If you must know. Very useful, those little birds. He's not going to tell you, Grace. There's not much to tell. Among the idols, news travels swiftly. We are a tiny village of godly busybodies. I heard of your arrival, and I know how obtuse the chorus can be. So here I am. You're welcome. You know, 
You could be the killer, for all I know. Hmm, come to mislead you, perhaps. How fiendishly clever of me. Well called, darling. And maybe even true. Poor, poor Pan! To be eternally maligned and mistrusted. Alas, and alas, and alas. <laughs> I doubt there's a line of idols waiting to offer you advice, Grace. But whether you accept mine or not is for you to decide. Okay, I'll bite. What's your advice? I have to admit, I don't really know where to start. Well, I'm not normally one to run amok telling others how to live their lives. But have you considered using your powers? My powers? Music, art, passion. You are the last muse, and all these are now your province. What do you mean, my province? Each of us has, uh, how shall I say, our talents? Yours is music. As befits a muse. <laughs> You're like the original rock star, Grace. Okay, but how does that help me find Calliope's murderer? Allow me to expedite the process of understanding. Now then, close your eyes. You hear that? It's coming from you. When you sing, what emotion does it summon? Um... I don't know. You open your eyes, you look into the crowd, and you feel 